in uh, in um, Eve online to purchase another character as long as you do it under the terms that CCP has set forth, which uh, is pretty easy stuff. Uh, basically, to stay within the terms, they do have rules posted in the character bazaar, which is, by the way, uh, go into the Eve forums, look for Eve Marketplace, and then character bazaar, and you can see people wanting to buy and people selling characters. So, uh, I have been looking for a character that um, was uh, at least 100 million skill points in PvP and uh, and where the price point would be right. Uh, it didn't matter to me so much whether or not the character was 100% focused or whether or not it had other skills uh, in it. And uh, to me, it was okay to not be 100% focused as long as we have at least 100 uh, million skill points in uh, areas that attribute to PvP. So, uh, of course, that would not be like, you know, manufacturing, mining and stuff. It, those don't count. Uh, so, I did a lot of looking, and uh, I had a budget of between about 40 and 65 billion ISK. Uh, so, but uh, to get up to the 65 billion ISK, I was going to have to really stretch. I was going to have to liquidate a lot of stuff. And I wasn't sure I wanted to do that. Um, but I did have it available to do, so I was kind of looking in that range. Uh, the rules for, for CCP is pretty much you got to put a post in the forums here when you're going to sell a character. You've got, to, um, you've got to provide specific information about them. And so the specific information is listed out in, in a post that's topped at the top of the forums. Uh, you need to link to, to Eve board or character information. Most people won't even talk to you unless you have that link. Uh, and you need to state some things like whether or not the pos wallet is positive, whether or not there's any kill rights, you know, what, whatever. So apparently there are some kill rights on this character. So I'm going to, um, you know, those are going to have to expire. But they list them. There's five kill rights in high sec. Okay. So... Uh, also, it needs to be uh, listed as to whether or not um, the account balance is positive or negative, and um, if it's negative because it was, you know, fined for something by CCP, then um, then the payment going in that that I pay to buy the character would have to fulfill that negative portion uh, and go into the positive before it could be released over. Last step for selling a character is when a, an agreed on price is made. Is that the person person who is selling will go into um, into account management and will pay for a transfer either two plex or twenty bucks, which is I, I think it's twenty bucks, ten or twenty bucks, something like that. Anyway, do the cash if you have the cash, because um, because if you're buying plex, you know that twenty bucks equals you know um, just one plex, and uh, so. Uh, you may as well you may as well spend the cash and keep the money. Um, <clears throat> so I went through evaluating and and I spent actually a lot of time looking at this stuff. Uh, I there was a couple of contributing factors. I looked at probably about ten pilots seriously yesterday, and I spent probably four or five hours going over them. Um, and what actually helped me decide was this one had something interesting that the rest didn't which was the price here saying that the price is 45 billion. It is not on auction. This is the price that it's selling for. And so I knew that I wouldn't have to compete against other people. I knew that I'd already spent a bunch of time uh, with, uh, with this, you know, looking for this. And I knew that I could be, you know, if I was going to be start bidding on them, that I could end up spending days and end up, you know, putting 20 hours in before I made a purchase. I didn't want to do that. So I might have been able to get something, you know, in the 110 million skill point range for, say, 42, 43 billion, something like that. I might have been able to get a little bit better deal. But was that time worth the money? Not, not, no, uh huh. <laughs> so anyway, this, um, so, so that was that was what was uh, what was on my mind with this. Now, to evaluate the um, to evaluate the character is um, 
I went to um, here in Eve board and um, because my main thing that I was worried about was PVP, the very first thing that was important to me is what ships it can fly. And so I just started at the bottom. I kind of went uh, backwards. I found that this was a little bit better. And targeting here, you know, there's only three skills in targeting, but they're all level five. Subsystems, so I can, so subsystems, uh, Brian, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but subsystems are used on like Tengus? Exactly. Okay. In this case, those are special for the Tengu. Right. And so um, all of these subsystems, they're all there. Um, and another thing that interested me on his post was it said perfect Tengu skills. The word perfect was especially interesting to me. I don't know what his version of perfect is compared to mine, but because I know that Tengus can be uh, done up many different ways. But, you know, I figured it's perfect in at least one instance. <laughs> um, so I looked at all the ships here. And uh, stuff like Advanced Spaceship Command is level 5. Um, and then I went and Kaldari is the most important to me because Kaldari is what I like best to fly. Uh, so I, I looked through here. I was kind of surprised that Kaldari Battleship is only level 1. But Battle Cruiser is uh, 5. Cruiser is 5. Destroyer is 5. Frigate is 4. Industrial is 3. I, I don't know... I noticed this, that a lot of PVPers, a lot of PVP accounts have industrial uh, ships. Do you know why that is, Brian? Not Every really. single one of them had, had industrial. I mean, somehow at some point you transport stuff from A to B yourself because you don't use the contract system to get a kind of hauler contract. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. You just yeah. skill that stuff. And to be honest, those points are not wasted at all if you think about it. It's, it's not a big deal. It's not a huge amount of points in there, um, but but like the industrial stuff on here, um, yeah. yeah. So he didn't have freighter, <laughs> so yeah. you know. Um, and uh, we've got capital ships is at five, command ships is at five. Amar Titan on five. Yes, that is another thing. Amar Titan is on five. I don't know how long that takes to. Let's see, that's about a two month training to to get from four to five. Uh, probably about a 60-day training. I think, I think a bit more. I think way more than that. Four million skill points could be complete from one to max. Uh, almost three months. Yeah. Depends on the implants you have. Depends on how your attributes are allocated currently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, it, and it has a whole bunch of other stuff. It has a, It has... Uh, a lot of Minmatar ships that are five. It uh, has a few Galante ships uh, in here. And uh, so, um, you know, it um, it certainly has enough in here to get started with. And another thing in here is that it has really good skills in the Amar ships. And uh, Amar is an area that I've not flown very much. So, uh, to me... This introduces me into um, into a new area, which uh, which which will be fun playing with. Uh, social isn't bad, you know. The but that's that's uh, social. A lot of that is for missioning. Uh, shields. Almost every skill is level five in here. Uh, nine out of eleven or five. There's probably some more here that can be trained. Um, the science. I don't know why. You, put science to five. I think that there's there's something else in PvP that requires science five. Uh, if I remember correctly. So Could be, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, not very much in scanning. This is another area that, that I was looking at that scanning was of interest so that you could do like wormhole exploration and stuff like that. Um, not with that tune. <laughs> not with this tune? <laughs> no. <laughs> As for, I, mean, I mean, you like a lot of skills there, but yeah, I mean, the basic scanning, scanning out a wormhole, that mm -hmm. should be possible, but mm -hmm. it's a pain in the ass with that skills, to be honest. Oh, okay. Uh, there's just a little bit of resource processing, not very much. Uh, just a little bit of production. Uh, industry, uh, level five, I've always considered good to be on a character. It allows you mm -hmm. to, to build something. It'll take a long time. 
you know, than, than if you don't have all the skills. But you can at least build something if you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little bit of planetary management on here. It's nice to have that, to be honest. So you can build fuel for your pus, like robotics, and at least a few of the components if you want to do that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You cannot wormhole. You can dig yourself in there if you are alone, or you can rent into a wormhole. Why not? Yeah, it's, it's a useful thing. So it's not it's, it's only about two million that's in there. Yeah. So I didn't consider it to be wasted. Uh, neural enhancements typically, you know, all all pilots need this if they're going to have jump clones. Um, and uh, navigation, there's actually a little bit of work to do here in navigation, a little bit of skill work to do in navigation. But um, uh, one thing is, is that uh, this can do um, uh, jump drives. And um, so, um, and I don't know very much about that, but you know, I figured that I figured that whatever I decided I was going to do with this character, whatever I was going to fly, that I would be, um, you know, looking at what the skills were for, um, you know, required to do that well. And if I needed to fill something in, I would. Mm -hmm. um, missile skills here are pretty good. Uh, there is a little bit that's uh, that's needed in here. I love missiles, and so I'll probably spend a lot I of time say, on that. In this case, I need to dodge the perfect Tengu character. Mm. Warhead upgrades is not on five. Target navigation prediction is not on five. Uh, there are several smaller skills that are missing. And also, mm -hmm. I don't see heavy assault missile specialization at all. I don't see that skill. Nowhere. And um, this is also interesting on a Tengu, if you consider using hams. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I don't know how he was fitting Tengu. So we'll go look at um, at um, losses of this character mm -hmm. and see what he was flying. And uh, that'll give some indication of what the character may be good at flying, too. Yep. Uh, if yeah, he's ever died, just, I don't know. Yeah, that was just a small thing about perfect. I don't know if it is really perfect. It's mm -hmm. decent, mm -hmm. but not perfect. Perfect yeah. is if you have the skills on I actually knew when I saw that that because yeah. because tengus could be fit so many different ways oh yeah that um that one person's idea of perfect is not another idea uh, another person's idea of perfect and so um so I actually didn't expect that everybody thing would be 100% on that um but mm -hmm. it is probably true that he should not have listed that it should have said like awesome tengu skills or something like that um, instead yeah, of perfect. Yeah, that's a typical thing from hum human beings, to be honest. I mean, we are all doing it, over-evaluating stuff sometimes. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it sounds a bit more interesting. You use perfect skill because then the people will definitely take a closer look into it and then at the end maybe buying the character. If mm -hmm. you just write decent skills, awesome skill job, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, another thing that interested me here that was not, I don't think was listed at all in the, um, in the advertisement is his leadership. And so there's, um, uh, let's see, there's seven, 7 7.8 million in leadership. I don't know how, how much, um, you know, where leadership can go up to what the total is, but this is much more than I have for any of my other characters, and it'll be good because I end up leading fleets a lot. Um, it also may be good for, um, you know, running links in a system, which I've never done before. I only understand that, you know, you can, with that, you can boost other characters in specific skill areas. Um, and so that'll be an area that I'll be able to explore with this. Hmm. Uh, which which will be good, which may help with faction warfare. So, help help me uh, keep my ass a little bit safer. <laughs> uh, gunnery here. Welcome to the dragons. Uh, Nineteen and a half million skill points in gunnery, so not too bad. Uh, the majority of things are eighteen out of twenty six of them are level five. So, uh, engineering looked okay to me. Um, so, and then pretty properly. what's that? Pretty properly engineering. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I think most of the core stuff is done on this character and, um, you know, the core stuff that's, you know, needed for flying anything. Um, 
Yep. Elect- electronic systems, there's, there's not nothing, you know, most of these are like level four. And, um, you know, I'm not sure. I guess they're not as important. So drones are pretty good. And um, so drones are something else that I enjoy using. Um, and yeah. you enjoy forgetting them. <laughs> right, right. My abuse of drones. Yes. Uh, and then uh, so armor looks very respectable. All but two of the skills there are level five. And uh, one of them being remote repair is not level five. Um, and then capital remote uh, re- repair systems. So everything else is five. So signature focusing is also missing. Yeah, the, you know, I knew that, see, we could, I could have, you know, gone for a character that's like 150 million skill points, you know, in uh, PVP and, you know, it, it have all of these extra little things. Uh, I also really enjoy character development. I didn't need to buy a character that was, quote, done. <laughs> You know, so uh, I plan on, you know, I like to fly things where I can, where I can continue to skill them up and everything. Uh, I do have one merchant character that is three months away from being done. Uh, that's all he does. And, and I'll stop training him when he uh, reaches that point. And, and I'll put the training on a different character, but then he'll still, he'll be very useful uh, and if I have to pick up some secondary skill or something like that and start training something, then he would be the perfect candidate if it went along with, um, you know, all the trade skills. So that's the character here. And missing two armor skills, I see. Maybe, not maybe. Really interesting for PvP, to be honest. So Not that important. Um, yeah. So here's here's the character, and. Um, let's see here. I think that, um, you know, one of the, one of the interesting things, uh, one of the fun things I used to do this in UO is I used to buy accounts and, uh, then I would part them all out and, and resell them. And, uh, it was interesting going through, it was like, uh, it was like finding a treasure chest that sometimes you would find things that people just didn't remember were there and everything. So, oh, you want to see the employment history. Let's see here. Employment history. Ooh, it's worked a lot of places. Um, so, um, yeah, lots of different places. There's a lot of employment history here. And, uh, character was born, uh, look at that. Let's see, 2006, he'll be nine, nine years old in a couple of days. So, um, my guess is that being nine years old and being 110 million skill points is that there was at least some period of time where this wasn't being trained. That's my guess. So, um, <clears throat> oh yes, a rookie ship, let's get rid of that. We'll see if we find anything interesting here in, it's just a bunch of rookie ships. Oh my God. Okay. We'll trash that too. Who needs all these rookie ships? Oh, that's what all of these are. This must be like every place he'd ever died. (laughs) Okay. There's the capsule rookie ship. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are all rookie ships. Oh well, I thought maybe I was having a little treasure chest. You know, someone's beat me to the treasure. I thought, well, maybe I'll find something interesting in here. Nope. <laughs> and Titan skills, yes. Yeah, so he has Titan Titan Five. Um, now I don't know what the other skills are that are necessary for flying a Titan. Science. And, oh, science stuff. Yeah, so I'll I'll be looking at that. Um, do I plan on flying a Titan anytime soon? No, probably not. Um, and and the guy doesn't have bounty or anything, and so yeah, there's nothing here. He cleaned everything out, so personal assets is a bust. 
they were all just newbie ships. Um, so uh, it's Mastery 5 on the Titan, and it... Um, so I don't know, you know, I, I've never... I've never flown a Titan before. I don't really know what they're used for, except they're used in battle. I see them there. I know they're there. I know they exist. <laughs> but I haven't, um, you know, I, I don't know what role they play in battle. So th that'll be fun to explore. But uh, given that, uh, what what am I looking at? Probably about 60, 70 billion for a Titan. And is that just the... Just the hull, or does that include its fit too? Mm, hull only. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, um, fitting itself will be almost the same price again. Mm, mm, okay. All that blink, blink stuff and so on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I do have jump clones. It looks like I have a bunch of implants. And uh, let's see, do I have, um, so these are all standard. I forget what, what level is standard. Standard is plus um, four. Plus four. Okay. So I have two jump clones with plus four. Both of these also have Siege um, Warfare Mind Link. And uh, so don't know what that's used for, but... Um, Anyway, and then do I have anything in my head right now? No. No, no boosters in my head right now. How does the combat log look like? Yes, let's look at the combat log and let's see what he was flying. So, um, there's a few kills here. Uh, not many. Let's uh, show losses and see what he was flying. So, 16 hours ago, he lost a Thrasher. Uh, nothing special about that fit. Where was this lost at? It was lost in the Forge. Really, a .9 system. What are the kill rights on this guy? Let's see what they are here. Kill rights against me. Well, okay, so 5 was not correct. It said that there was five kill rights. There's actually six. Um, so, and he, because he got one last night. <sighs> <laughs> so, um, to school. one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, well, he he was obviously still playing this character after he posted it. So, um. Yeah, let's see what the so okay. So I have um, I have some kill rights against me here, and uh, yeah, he was was he ganking people? Is that what he was doing? I mean, was he just trying to destroy himself? Let's look at um, let's look at the security status here and see what um, this guy's just trying to destroy himself. I don't get it. In just a couple of days, he went from positive 4.52 down to 2.92. Yeah, he was killing some pots. Yeah, I guess pots he was just going mental. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, if they're public, it's easy to get them off. Yeah, well, I don't know what those, what those are. Um, I just, uh, you know, it's not often that I'll get kill rights against me. Uh, I suppose it will happen sometimes, but, um, you know, I'll have to, um, I'll have to, to look at that. Um, so kill rights against me. Yeah. Well, we'll see here. Pilot has no standing. Okay. I don't know what he was doing. So, uh, he lost a thrasher. He lost an Ibis. I think you can see the details on the security status by double clicking on the line, for example. If I'm not totally mistaken, you can see if this it was penalty secret. was incurred for attacking uh, Decebe's crow in Jita. Okay. 
This one for attacking an Ibis in Jita. This one for um, attacking a Moa. Okay. So he was literally just attacking ships. Not Hurricane. He, he attacked this one guy multiple times. Um, he spent a lot of time in Def Sinem, wherever that is. Yeah, I don't know that he even got these kills either. So, um, so he killed he killed the crow. He he killed an ibis. Um, wow. Yeah, I know that's impressive. <laughs> um, he killed uh, he killed this um, brave newbies guy. Let's see here. Um, oh, Defsum. Wait, how do you get? Oh, he's got security status lower. That's point one, so it's low sec. So that's just security stuff. You, I don't think you get in low sec. You don't you don't get kill rights, do you? Can you get kill rights in low sec? I have no clue. Yeah, I actually, I, actually, I think you can. Oh wait, didn't we? I think there were two people in our level five missions, right? When we were doing the level five missions, two random people popping in with, I think, a tango and a sweep pool. And I think we took out the sweep pool I was shooting on it, and they didn't get kill rights. Yeah. Yeah. I took security I status, know. though. Yeah, the hit is there, but I didn't got a kill right. Or mm -hmm. he didn't got a kill right against me, so... Mm -hmm. I see we're at 200 viewers, so after this segment, I'll, uh, we'll do the drawing uh, for that, so... Um, okay, he killed a bunch of pods. Cletus is saying it. Uh, only if you pot someone in low sec, you get a uh, kill right on that person. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, he did kill a cruiser here. Um, and he was flying a, um, a caracal. So, he was on it with several other people. So... It looks like he's flying with uh, Black Legion and Brave Newbies. Oh, you know what happened? So here he, you know what happened? He went and killed a bunch of the Brave Newbies guys. Was he in Brave Newbies? Because because that's where he got all these kill rights is from killing Brave Newbie guys. You Ma can check it on your employment history. <laughs> maybe he went mental. Um, maybe he went mental here. Um, against people he didn't like in his corp. Um, let's see here. No, actually, he was in Origin. I can search for that now. There we go. Show info. Member of Black Legion. So he was a member of Black Corp. Legion. Is yeah, Black Legion I, the... It's an alliance. Black Legion is the okay. alliance, and Origin is a part of the Black Legion. Okay, okay. So, um, interesting. Hey, so he went he went a little bit nutso on his own guys. And I uh, guess that answers some questions. Let's go back, looking at losses again, see what kind of stuff he was flying. He was flying cheap, sh cheap stuff. He got... He lost a shuttle. <laughs> and some people are bought already and placing bounty on you. Jesus. What? <laughs> yeah, I just saw that. They're placing bounty on me. <laughs> uh. Whatever. Okay, so... Um, it looks like uh, Civipol here. He was flying a Civipol... Black Legion. Um, his loss was only 27 million. Is that all that ship's worth? No. What's so, about the Tengu from 1,444 days ago? He lost a Tengu? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, he hasn't lost many ships recently. It's just when he went ham. <laughs> um... 35 days ago, the first ship, huh? the Ibis, and then the next one, 1,444 days ago. 
Oh yes, bounty being placed on me. Thanks guys. Love you too. Oh yeah, okay, I see all these bounties coming up. Eleven million. Okay. <laughs> um, it's too old, you don't see the value. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, by the way, I gotta thank... Uh, um, I, I gotta thank uh, Moose Bank. Uh, Moose Bank helped me uh, get this character, so big thank you to him. So he just he just gave me a gift of some of the money for this. So uh, anyway, this um, it's interesting. And do do all our fittings disappear when our uh, fitting? Nope stuff they're still all if in he here does have fittings if he was setting up fittings with this this character and saving them and he's transferring the full character to you you will have all the fittings that he had before mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay yeah so um i do see do see the fittings this tengu he's using this for links um so I'm gonna have to learn what all that stuff is. Most definitely, he has a, he has a Tengu in here. Um, a Dramel, a couple of Dreadnoughts, a Thrasher, which it says that he can't do. You do not have the skills for this fitting. Yet everything has a green check mark. I never get that. Don't know what it is about that fitting that I don't qualify for. Um, oh, he has a fit for the luxury yacht. Okay. Claymore. He doesn't have very many fittings in here at all. Maybe he just kept it clean. Maybe he really only flew just a few things. So, um, yeah, off-grid booster Tengu, yes, which uh, which I think is going to help some for some of the stuff we do in uh, like faction warfare and everything. So, I don't know if I'll uh, consider you know putting this guy into faction warfare. Actually, I don't know what his standings are. So, or is uh, let's see standings and. Let's see here. Well, he's really hated by Gerstus. <laughs> That's okay. Negative 6.66 by Concord Assembly. I don't know what Concord Assembly is. So, and hated a bit by Galante and Minmatar. Negative one, one and a half. Um, those could be from doing faction warfare. Um, okay, not really much there that he's not liked by. And then, uh, as far as being liked, Amar Mandate, 8.14. So, Kaldari State, 5.1. Whoa, look at this. A Mar Fleet, 9.68. Mm -hmm. Kaldari Navy, 9.0. Fuck yeah. I didn't see that before. Um, that's the that's the standing I've been going for for my merchant stuff. 9.0. He's done a lot of work in that area. So, um, yeah, well, pretty good stuff, I think. An excellent stand. He has a 10.0 with, uh, with one agent. That's the basic agent, the tutorial agent that you had in the past. Oh, okay. Well, 9.88 with uh, another guy here. 
which I think that that's the that's the Caldari Navy guy. It is. Thought I recognized his name. 9.88 with him. Well, this is going to be fun. So. Okay. Well, that's cool. So I like that. Um, biography. Oh, he has a biography here. And I saw more people putting in bounty, you guys. You guys, you guys are all... Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. What would... Damn, you know, that money could be used for much better things, Mr. Whatwid. <laughs> he put a quarter, uh, uh, a quarter billion on me. Yeah. <laughs> I could think of much better things. I could think of a nice ship for a quarter billion. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, yes, the tune is just a few days short of 10 years old. Um, so, yeah, and uh, Fountain War, I don't know, that all is nothing now. I don't even know, I don't remember how to edit that. Is it like that? And I just move away from the screen and it'll be gone? Ah, yes. Okay. So. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm not so sure what else uh, I need to look at here. Um, so. Just the, the combat log stuff where he just became a dork here. Um, he didn't lose anything for a long time. Tengu way back when, and and Nidhogger lost that, but that's 2,000 days ago. Holy shit. How many years ago is 2,000 days? Seven years ago? Yeah, almost. Wow. I would say six years, yeah. Around about six years, six and a half years. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I probably won't be. Um, yeah. I, so I just restarted the training queue, guys, and uh, so this is probably something to go through and stuff. And oh, um, five and a half years. Five and a half years. Okay. Yep. Um, the um, this I'm going to wipe this training queue, um, and and probably put in just a couple other things that I think should be in here, um, just to get it started. Um, you think putting bounty on me already is sad? Yeah, you know, um, uh, you really should put it on Marky Dragon and, you know, bump me up to number one there again if you really hate me that much. It's about five billion short. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so that's it, uh, for this segment on YouTube and, um, so uh, for the uh, character buying, we will do another segment. If, if the guy who sold me this uh, comes on, uh, then we'll talk to him. We'll do a segment talking to him about uh, selling a character. And um, then I will be uh, going over my characters, and I will be selling one or two of them in the coming days. And, um, and so... I'll uh, I'll go through that on the stream. You know what um, what I've done, how I've done it, and everything, so you guys can replicate that if you want. And then also, you know, if any of you are interested in in buying the characters, well, then you'll get a chance. So um, anyway, okay. So for you guys on YouTube, that's the end of this episode. And uh, everybody on Twitch, don't go.